Good night, fellow punters. The clock on the wall is way later than I expected or had planned for early in the day. It's a quarter past 11 on Tuesday night. Went off this evening, I had to go to town and met a few people in a shop, chatting, Cheltenham, chatting, racing. Um, had one pint and then I went to a house, got held up. Then I went to another house and uh, I was showing a man how, how to get on Facebook and do different things and photographs and everything. I wouldn't be that clever as myself, but um, he was setting up for the first time. So we got a few things together. And the next thing was after 10 o'clock. Um, we had to have a quick cup of tea and I'm not long home I'll get this out of the way as fast as possible um, a shout out to George Childs a uh, newcomer on the bus um, if I missed anyone I'll try and get back to it tomorrow I didn't get back online at all this evening um, got a couple of texts today to say that Percival Le Galwar, uh good horse for us last year uh, isn't going to Cheltenham they're a bit pissed off with the English handicapper putting them up to many pounds so they're waiting at home uh, whether they'll go for the Irish Grand National or whether they'll wait for um, Punchestown maybe the Irish Grand National I don't know could suit them um, I don't think there was any more big news today from the Cheltenham front we had a uh, I, I, I can't remember them. I, I just get the results. Uh, oh, that's the void race. Got off to a good start with um, two shots of tequila and Sheila, um, as Crystal Ward pointed out to me today. I didn't realise I said that last night, but you know what I'd come out with at times. Um, one was his head in his chest, uh, made a, a small bit of a mistake. Uh, two out was it sort of but uh, your own story a um, lot of money for that today that's into what I was saying in the Midlands Grand National that was 6th in the Scottish Grand National la last year still only an 8 year old there could be a race on that at some point they're clever clever enough uh, outfit a spirit de potier that hosed up with what 26 lengths that was 4 to 6 last night went off for or uh, with the price of last night, that was over a two to one double. Going on to the third race. Um, the weight, I thought, was the problem here. 12 stone against 10, 10 stone 6 and 10 stone 11. It's only beaten like, what, four lengths. Um, weight will stop a train, as they say. But I thought this was the most disappointed horse for me today was uh, Georgie's dream. Um, for Brian Hughes heading for his 100th winner um, just was never at the races in the last half a mile and, and the further the wind the better I thought he'd be getting I don't know whether it was the ground or what I have no idea but uh, there had to be some sort of an excuse and then we had we were going to win this race I thought um, we were 1-3 to three, and he was the first one when he jumped the last to see that there was so, uh, something in uh, 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 front do you think they'd have taken out a few hurdles uh, to let the horses slip through where the injured horse was down, uh, because he they were shouting at him, and he, you, I, I was thinking, why, why are you stopping? You're not at the finishing line yet, but that was a big blow for us because um, he was seven to two, and you get your money back all right, but get your money back on a loser is all right, but on a horse that was going to win at a price like that, that that would mean that we had um, three doubles and a treble up, going on to. Uh, you know, um, between the five horses that we had picked there um, and the single bet as well. So it would have turned into a right, profitable sort of a day. Um, it was off 100 to 30. But um, I thought it was definitely going to win and the favourite in the last one. Um, the one in uh, Ireland um, finished second. It was 92 last night. I backed it each way and then there was a rule four out of it. But uh, by having second, uh, it was money back um, because it was quarter of the odds then. Um, there's two tomorrow and the only two I had in my tracker. And I'm, I'm going to give percussion another chance tomorrow. I think it's between the favourite, Gaborius, and percussion. Um, 
percussion. It's only eight days since he ran, but that was real sticky ground the last day. And he couldn't get up, he couldn't lift his legs out of it for, uh, and he's a better horse than that. And the ground is soft, heavy in places. But when he r- ran an A and three before, it was uh, behind Jeskiel in, uh, it was, it was heavy ground, Turtle Chambard and heavy ground. It was heavy the last day, but it was pure tacky old stuff. Um, and they've about eight days again. So it's always good to see a horse back out after eight days because they know that, you know, that um, the season is nearly over for this probably. Um, and Gaborius is a good handicap f- chase for him. Um, it was behind um, Tide Times the last day. And that was the race that Triple Trade was second, wasn't it? No, Latitude. Um, musical Slave. That was a decent enough uh, race, uh, but the ground has been a problem for it before. If you look at um, if when it won the other two chases there, both of them were on good ground. And if you go back to when it ran on soft ground, it was unseated. I just pulled up behind Benny's King, and just pulled up behind Benny's King in a in la- this time last year in a, a hunter's chase as well, soft ground. So, uh, sorry, it was third soft ground um it is well enough handicapped you'd imagine but jerry's back hasn't ran for a good while um i'm given um percussion there was four to one uh, in the evening there's a bit of race for a bit of money for it there's one other horse that was in the tracker there's a hot favorite in the uh, seven o'clock tomorrow evening at kempton to leave money and odds on shot now but Bantry it's a 12 to 1 shot there they're paying 3 places this used to be with John Joe Murphy in Ireland and John O'Shea it came over to but O'Shea if you can see there he's, he's in form he's batting uh, 33% 1 out of 3 in the last 14 days and when a small yard sorts of hits for him you know it's it's. Uh, I always sort of say there's a good chance for a horse that ran decent in his first time out for the stable yeah, last year um, in Chepstow it finished second beat and a half a length um, it ran then in Lingfield but that was it, that was good to firm that day as well um, but there was a, it's it's just that it's a 12 to 1 shot uh, it, and it, when it ran first time out in its life it ran uh, in a maiden in Dundalk fourth beaten uh, five and a half lengths it also ran uh in a maiden in Dundalk as well as 52 uh, down, 54 down 2 pounds from his lad it's small stakes there's be- very bad racing tomorrow there were the only two in the tracker and there were the only two that at the time sort of to stick them together so win and a small each way bet is the two uh, I'll get this into the oven as quick as possible it's 20 past 11 now and uh, I don't know what, haven't looked at Thursday yet, but might have more chance tomorrow. Bash the bookies over and out.